Hi guys, uh, this is Michael with Blurry Pixel, and in this video, I wanted to show you a neat feature in the Pixel Cloud plugin called Alpha Lights. Now, I've already mentioned how we can use After Effects lights to relight an image, uh, affecting the diffuse and specular colors. And these lights affect just the RGB channels of an image. There are also alpha lights, which affect just the alpha channel of an image. And because we are relighting a pixel cloud, we have the ability to sort of uh, mask out portions of an image according to its uh, depth information. Now, since these lights don't need a separate normal pass as the diffuse and specular type of lights, we can use this to emulate a diffuse relight using pixel clouds light fall off and composite alpha features without having to have a normal uh, image source layer. So, um, continuing on with our Jack the Dog image from our previous demo, animating a photo, I am going to demonstrate how this can be done with the Pixel Cloud plugin. Starting off, I've already got everything set up. I have my uh, source layer here. I have my uh, position pass layer or my uh, depth information layer um, or height map already set up. I'm going to change this to half resolution preview mode so that I can work a little bit faster. And then I'll change it to full once I'm already ready to render. Now I have my pixel cloud layer here uh, sorted out and I have the background layer. And I've got a shot cam camera and a reference camera already set up. And I'll go ahead and create a uh, s kind of a scratch camera, which I'll call scratch cam, cam um, which is basically a duplicate of the, uh, of the shot cam. I'm just going to use this as a sort of a uh, preview camera. So we can like uh, right now move around uh, 3D space using this camera. All right. Now go back to the uh, shot cam here and I will uh, turn off the background layer here because we won't need it for this demo. Now simply put, an alpha light is a light with the alpha prefix on it. The alpha prefix is found in the options dialog from the Pixel Cloud plugin and you can get to that by uh, clicking on the uh, register or options button here at the top of the plugin and Towards the bottom here, you'll see spaces for in entering a uh, prefix for your diffuse lights, your specular lights, and your alpha lights. The defaults are diffuse, specular, and alpha. Now, when one, one of these prefixes are used, then that means that lights named with this prefix will only affect that portion of the relight as long as it is enabled. In other words, uh, a light named for example alpha light 1 and with the relight alpha option enabled in pixel cloud effect will only affect the alpha of the pixel cloud so what I'll need to do here is first create a light and I'm gonna name it alpha light using the prefix and in this case I'll keep it a spotlight uh, keep the color white the intensity will be 100, keep the cone angle at 90 degrees, and I'll keep cone feather to zero for now. And in CS 5.5, we have a fall off option. For the moment, I'm going to keep it to none, but I can go ahead and change that and actually use the fall off as part of my relight. There are also options in CS 5 and CS 4 to use the cache shadows parameters instead of the fall off parameters. Alright, so now here's a tip. Uh, after you create a directional light, like a spotlight for example, create a camera in there and call it uh, light cam and then copy all the transform attributes from that camera. So for example in this case a uh, point of interest position orientation and rotate and all the other rotation attributes and then just copy and paste it onto you onto the light and then parent that light to the camera 
And so basically, when you're looking through that camera, you're basically looking through the light. And so whatever the camera sees, the light sees, and you get better control of where that light is pointing. So using this sort of a, uh, a rig, we can position the light wherever we want. and then for right now I'll just aim it straight at Jack's nose and then narrow at the angle a little bit and wherever that uh, cone light is pointing that's where the light is pointing and wherever that camera is pointing the light is pointing and in this case I will bring that cone angle down to say 25 percent and feather it uh, say 50 percent now to go back to uh, the regular, our main camera, we can just turn that light off and it should snap right back to the, uh, the next visible camera in your uh, timeline. Okay, so I've returned now uh, to our uh, shot camera. I'm going to go ahead and click on scratch cam here to, so we can move around without affecting the shot camera. Now we don't see any changes in the alpha right now because I haven't actually enabled the relight alpha option back in Pixel Cloud. So I'll go ahead and enable that option. And as in, you can see right away uh, that only the pixels within the cone of the alpha light are being rendered. So if I just uh, go ahead and solo this uh, the alpha channel of this image, you can see that the penumbra of the alpha light uh, is gradually affecting the mat and I'll switch back to the light cam you can see much better uh, that the cone of the uh, the spotlight is actually uh, matching the pixels that are actually being rendered uh, in the pixel cloud so if I uh, open up the options for the uh, the alpha light right here I can open up the cone angle a little bit, feather it some more, and I can also turn the fall off back on. And I can also turn the fall off on and change it under CS5.5, change it to smooth, um, or inverse square clamped, which is a quadratic fall off. And, uh, change for instance the radius to uh, from zero in this case to a higher number and you can see we start to get that kind of uh, very gradual fall off um, if we change it to smooth we get more control there um, we get not just a radius but a fall off distance attribute and so we get this sort of a gradual fall off as well on the alpha channel and here's a neat thing if I go ahead and create another light or like in this instance I'll go ahead and duplicate that uh, alpha light which is also prefixed with the uh, alpha prefix then these alpha lights have a sort of additive in effect and in, in fact if I change the intensity um, or first make the cone angle smaller on the second light and change the intensity to say a negative number like negative 100 I can actually mask out portions being lit by the other light Right now that's not what I want, so we'll step, step back a little and delete that duplicate light and switch back to our RGB channels. Now, say for instance that I don't really want to affect the alpha channel. Instead, I want to fade to a specific color. You could still do some extra compositing work to get that done, but there's actually a better option built into the Pixel Cloud plugin 
called composite alpha and it's under alpha options and you'll see a uh, parameter here called composite alpha I'm gonna go ahead and enable that and I can change the composite alpha color to say something like a dark uh, toned green and then uh, make sure that the composite alpha blending mode is normal and as you can see uh, we have this sort of a uh, alpha blending across the image of a specific color but influenced by our uh, alf After Effects light. And thank you and uh, this has been a demo of how we can use Pixel Cloud and its Relight Alpha feature to mask out portions of an image according to its depth information. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.